It was really scary. It took my breath away. It took my husband's breath away. Um, you're not really prepared to hear news like that. Luke, I met when he was two and a half years of age, um, when he was diagnosed with his medulloblastoma, which is a type of cancer. I did put him on a clinical trial. Because he was young, I wanted to minimize the radiation that his brain received to allow him to have the best outcome. About six years later, when Luke was concluding his chemotherapy treatment, one of the last um, um, MRIs that Luke had, Dr. Bendel looked at us and said, you know what, Luke, I think we're, we're good. It was weird. I just started getting headaches and until one day I couldn't get up from bed or I would have like a horrible headache. I'd be very dizzy. I will never forget the morning that he woke up. My husband had already gone to work. And shortly after that, he came down the hall and he was crying. He was very upset. And I looked, took one look at him and I knew something was really wrong. He developed another tumor. Um, it was a cancer, but it was a different type of cancer. It was a radiation-induced tumor. Luckily for Luke, as Dr. Bendel explained, um, through research, um, there was a new treatment plan where they were able to kind of personalize his chemotherapy treatment. When the community looks at Children's Minnesota, I think over the years they have viewed us consistently as a really amazing place to go when their kids need care. We are not part of a big university, and so I don't think the community always realizes that a place like Children's Minnesota actually does a lot of research. The purpose of our research program is to try to improve the outcomes for patients with cancer and blood disorders, to try to learn more about the biology, to be able to find new treatments. It's looking for the side effects. We're developing ideas and coming up with uh, treatment regimens to try and improve therapy because our goal clearly over time is to not only improve the cure rate of kids with cancer and blood disorders, but also minimize the toxicity that they experience. You know, looking at from when I first started, we would cure probably with radiation and some chemotherapy, 60 to 65% of patients. You know, and now it, we cure about 75 to 80% of childhood tumors now. And I really you know, attribute that to clinical research. I'm, I'm all clear, I'm all clear. Everything is um, looking good. Um, I'm going to school, going fishing, going <laughs> hunting, having fun, you know, because uh, of my history at Children's Minnesota, I'm pursuing my major in uh, pediatric oncology, kids with cancer. So kind of giving back to the point of where I was. You know, when we take a kid who's newly diagnosed with leukemia or newly diagnosed with a brain tumor or an abdominal mass, we can compare how we do with other centers across the country because we're all using the same therapies on the same trials and the data of how our patients do versus how patients do across the country is continually being compared. And then what that does is it has a ripple effect and spreads that information to my colleagues all around the world and then they can use that information to tweak their treatments for their patients and hopefully all those patients can benefit from what we learned. There has been time and money spent on cancer research, and fortunately, because of that research money and the dedication to the people that really want to try to eradicate cancer for children, they were able to come up with this personalized chemotherapy plan for Luke. So we've come a long way in improving our, our outcomes and cure rates for children with cancer, but we still have a long way to go. There still are a lot of terrible diseases in, and cancers that are affecting our children. And the only way we are going to improve their health is by investing in research and understanding how we can do better. I'm really excited and honored to have been chosen for this endowed chair position that was so generously funded by the Harper Family Foundation. It's going to give me so many more opportunities to expand our research program.
It is amazing to think that there are people in this community that want to give back to research, cancer research. And having those people feel the need or see the need for cancer research is amazing because I do believe that that has helped our son get to the place that he is today. And we are truly grateful for people that... That want to give back. Yeah. That want to give back. Puts a, puts a smile on my face and it uh, knowing that people care, it makes me believe that someday cancer will be eradicated. <laughs>